Hello everybody and welcome back to the Boneheads SMP. I am Solemn, the gamer who's bad at games, and last week there was no episode because for one thing it's being really freaking warm here, and also if we're honest I was spending a lot of time with a lady friend, and yeah, I'm supposed to shout out Defected, I have a lady friend now, and yeah. So there. Okay. <laughs> I don't know this. <laughs> Yeah, it's very new information, like how you got your car broken into and I didn't get to hear about it until through the grapevine. Well, that happened today. So. Yeah, well, I still didn't hear about it, did I? I was mostly just texting Dad to find out if, you know, possibly somebody like, uh, possibly stepbrother just decided to break in for a laugh. Because <laughs> it legitimately just, it honestly looks like it was done like, professionally with... Yeah, with uh, with an auto oh, with a bot an automotive bypass kit because there is no sign of entry. Right. I just we know because there was a mess inside and there's a few things missing. Is it possible that you forgot to lock one of the doors then? Uh, all the doors lock when I press the button. Yeah, I'm just wondering if maybe you didn't press the button this time. Potentially, I am paranoid. Fair. Me too. So anyways, <laughs> in other news, uh, Icy isn't here. He might join midway. We're not too sure. Um, Says he's not feeling well. I can see it on the Discord right now. Okay. That's reasonable. Um, and Big Country is still lost off in the boonies because we haven't recorded since he solo conquered a mansion through slow progression and paranoia. Yeah. And um, yeah. Then the last thing is that we have all decided that this world is going to come to an end. We're going to go into a Boneheads Season 3. But if there's anybody that watches this, um, this series on a regular basis, we need your opinion on what kind of map we should start. Should it just be another survival? Um, or we were thinking maybe we could do something like a Skyblock, which would definitely end well, considering we have someone that... Um, we'll just say is is uh, a habitual self dyer. There we go. Um, I, I, I like I like playing a sky block. I think it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, and I like stone block. Big country block. also. Well, stone block. I'd be interested in because that's one I've never even like. I, I I've never even really watched somebody play that one. Um, but then you also suggested uh, thaumaturgy. I think. Yeah. Which I don't even know that one, what that one is. I've never even heard of that Magic. one. Magic. Okay. Um, and what was the other one? Something about a forest. Twilight Forest. So you can access in like Stone Block and Sky Block and whatever. You can access both of those uh, uh, mods and whatnot. Uh, but like with Twilight Forest, it's a full-on realm that's like mythical kind of thing there's several bosses you have to fight like the naga the minotaur the yeti uh ice king and so on uh with thaumaturgy it's it's straight up magic like you got to figure out um uh, like each thing each item gives off an essence so like uh an ender pearl would give off like teleportation or spatial magic and something else. And then, like, flint and steel would give off uh, metal essence and fire essence. And, like, you literally just got to try to break stuff down and you're just trying to create a philosopher's stone. Okay. Um, what was the other one I was going to suggest? There was another one. I had it in my mind a second ago. Uh, oh, we could also try doing something like... Um, Damn it, I lost the name of it, but it's that one where you can, like, actually make machines with, like, gears and... and uh... Oh, so, so we could do the Tech It uh, game, uh, mod pack, which has that that specific mod in it. It has Thaumaturgy, it has Twilight Forest, it has, like, I think over ten separate mods all in this one pack that we yeah. have full access to. 
so that might be the way to go um, um and i know there's other mod pads that we could or mod packs that we could look at like uh some of the uh some of the bigger smps use ones that like have additional designs for pumpkins that you can carve um as well as like workstations that can actually like like there's a glass makers workstation where you can make like stained glass and um different types of lanterns um there's a carpenter's workbench where you can actually make car different types of carved wood blocks and things like that so basically just in the comments if there's something that you want to see us play with and fail with you should throw that down there yeah oh, speaking of throw i accidentally threw an ender pearl in a giant ass water ravine yeah that would be called a river it would be yeah i also saw that somebody put down a whole bunch of mangrove trees near the enchanters area mm. and they all got proper ghouls on which is pretty good because i mean we don't want those improper ghouls ha 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 no ha 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 no ha 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 no Anyways, I'm vaguely running around and showing off, like, the, uh, we'll say, like, final product of the village and, and things that we've built this season. Speaking of seasons, so we were talking about the continuation, uh, like, about me getting around to doing the next uh, saving popcorn or couch kernels, stuff like that. Uh -huh. um, I think we're going to treat the next... Uh, uh, the next group of episodes is like a season two on that. Okay. Because oh. I know that you have actually some fans and, um, you know, I'm sure they've been waiting for something for well, a couple months else, now. If nothing else, if nothing else, I, uh, I left them hanging on a round of, um, of name that frame. So, you know, yeah. Like they've had their their they've had two clues and no answers. And I think in the next season I might make something like that. I'm I'm gonna miss how I did the roof here, to be honest, with the weeping uh, obsidian. But I'm gonna do something maybe bigger with this idea for the spiral staircase so that I actually have several spirals going down instead of just two. Maybe that's something that I can work on in the next. So is this gonna be like a final video for this? I kind of think so. I think now okay. that we, now that we've all actually gotten an answer put onto that sheet and we've all discussed it, one way or another, next Minecraft episode will be something new. But uh, not sure what yet. It might just be like a uh, something temporary, like we go check out the Origin Realms or something while we wait for something else, but. Origin Realms is, like, intimidating, though. I don't like, know why, but I forgot how to make an Ender Portal. Like, are we talking intimidating along, uh, intimidating along the lines of um, uh, Demonicus Universum, or...? No, I mean, intimidating as in the guys uh, that are in charge of Origin Realms, such as System Z, um, they... None of them work for Minecraft, but all of them should because of the amount of stuff that they've put into the game just because they could. Um, like, they they have a tendency to put things into the game. Like, the uh, the new mobs that didn't get voted in, for example, they've uh, put those in. Um, they've made new mobs, uh, made, made bosses, they've made new weapons, they've made new systems to go with those weapons. Uh, you know. So... They're crazy is, I think, what I'm trying to say here. They need lava. And it's two intimidating places before. What? No, we haven't. Minecraft Middle Earth. That place is so cool. Yeah. yeah but intimidating for skill level. Yeah, like we or could never build awesome. something. Yeah, it's, uh, as in like intimidating, as in we could probably never build anything quite like that. Yeah. No, we could. It would if just we... take the rest of our natural lives. Yeah. Well, that plus I just legitimately don't think that any of us have the patience to make something like that. 
No. That's yeah, my... I'm pretty sure I would get bored part of the way through and then just fill whatever I'd done with dynamite. That's one of my biggest issues with Minecraft building is that I generally end up losing patience and going like, well, we should be done this already. It's partly why my uh, why my temple didn't end up actually being uh, uh, pardon my yawn, a proper like ziggurat style. Like it still turned out good, but it's just you know. Hey, if this is a final one, we should just fill something with dynamite and blow it up. No. <laughs> like my boat. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, just fill your fill the axe hole with dynamite and be like, oh no, we blew out our axe hole on, uh, on video. I mean, we could. <laughs> no, I feel like that would be disastrous. Also, I mean, if it is, that's fine. I personally won't be back in this world after if we're done recording in here. Besides, I don't have access to it otherwise anyway. Yeah. I'm still lost. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. You could do it. I guess I can go down into the nether for a bit. I'm really just not working on anything this episode because nothing really matters. Whoa. What is that? Can I find... No, that's not right. So I think like one of the first things I'll do in the next world will be to be a, a build another giant storage space. It's probably something that we should do a lot quicker as well as an experience grinder. There's a few things that basically we definitely need to get online a lot quicker, I would I would say. Yeah. Well, especially if we get the giant storage space built sooner, there's the actual possibility of maybe getting it actually um, organized. All it's partially organized. Yes, but fully organized. Trying to shoot a ghast while, while lagging is uh, a special kind of challenge. Yeah, that's the other thing. This world seems to have gotten laggy. Yeah, I think it's because I'm in a whole new area. So it's like yeah. loading in a bunch of stuff. There's an Enderman down there that's like freeze-framed because of the, the lag. We have two TNT. Uh, there's more than that in my old house. I... I've also got a feeling that Icy's got a stockpile of some somewhere. Probably. Yeah, that's a safe bet. Is now a good time to tell media that um, minecart TNTs explode bigger? <laughs> Considering that um, when I do blow stuff up out of boredom, I usually just absolutely fill the things. So maybe not, because that would uh, potentially crash things. Part of me when I was, when we were uh, discussing making the new the new world or or like switching up to a new world. I was like, should we try to do like an actual storyline to introduce the new world like Hermitcraft does? And then I was like, yeah, none of us are really that creative. <laughs> I live in the void I'm now. Still, I'm still part of the there way through a script for a new, uh, for a potential new video series. Oh. Yeah, you and I discussed it. Uh, I sent you the right, right. proposition for it. I didn't realize that that was something that like needed scripting, to be fair. Eh, from my side. Oh, okay. Because, I mean, any answers to the questions and whatever are going to be fully unscripted, of course, but... Uh... And then we got people like Fry, who, uh, during the first episode of Fry's Garbage Fridays, I was just like, so do you know what you're going to say? He's just like, yep, I got it. Yeah, and then he just winged it, and that became his thing. Now he says the same thing every time, but he's completely winged it. I think next time that I build this Enderman farm, if I build the same farm next time, um, I will have like an on and off switch so it doesn't get too bad over here. Because you can make it so that you flip a switch and all of the uh, 
and all of those the endermen are allowed to drop instead. Ooh, ooh, I got an idea. I got an idea. I got an idea. Give me a second. I gotta find it. Man, I'm out of bread. Country, just, just give me a second, and I will find. I, I've got an idea. I figured, like, I'm in the storehouse right now, so I can just put bread into the ender chest. And That's not how bread. that works. That's not how that works. It's only access to your own inventory. Well, damn, then. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was going to be helpful. So so in, in those mods and stuff like that, there are uh, ender mods, or whatever the heck they're called, and you can actually put combinations on the ender chest so you can have them link up to other ender chests that have the same combination. So basically anybody make, can access make a them. mail system, basically. Yeah. Yeah, um, I was gonna... I, I forgot to mention, like, if we do another survival series, I was considering the idea where each of us would, like... Basically, at the start, we shake hands and run in opposite directions kind of thing, and then try to make, um, like, our own worlds, so to speak, and... You know, not actually like look that. at each other's stuff until, you know, you actually have, unless you actually go and see it, you can't really see it, you know? The, uh, and, and I talked to, uh, Big Country about the idea that, uh, potentially if we do something like that, we could, uh, also get you and him recording perspectives and upload three perspectives, like, because we'd still want to talk to each other and stuff, but then the uh, audience can actually see what you guys are doing without me having to run over there kind of thing. Yeah. Just but ideas. Same point. You hit, uh, when on the few episodes we've done where you had multiple perspectives, you hated trying to Yeah, no, that's that's the thing is like if we did that, you guys would each record your own episode and edit like your own episode and I would just upload it um on the same day uh i wouldn't try to edit them together because yeah no that's nightmare fuel but it was an idea i know icy wouldn't record his own because i don't know i don't know what his rig's like but i feel like his internet alone would have a heart attack if he tried to record and play at the same time oh or if he tried to upload it can you imagine yeah like, my old setup was bad with a uh, 1 megabit per second upload speed. I'm just doing chores over here by emptying out the Ender Pearl chest. Because they were spilling out all over the floor since there was no more space. Guys, I found diamonds. Yeah. On the last episode. <laughs> Let's see how many I can get. So I will say things from this this uh, this season that shouldn't surprise anybody. IC is the only one that ended up with netherite. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Fifteen diamonds. Nice. Here's something that might surprise people, really, if you think about it. I've only died a handful of times, maybe twice or three times this season. Options. Uh, no, sorry. Yeah, game menu statistics. Are you looking that up, Country? I'm looking how many times I've died. Yeah. Is there a way to find out how many times? Yeah. So died? go into your game menu. Like pause. Yeah. Okay. And then there statistics. Just click that, and it'll show you. Where is it? Like times died, or what's it called? I've opened 140 barrels. I've rung 55 bells. I've opened 1,236 chests. I've dealt it, 284 damage. Okay, stop. Time out. It's uh, called number of deaths. It's kind of near the bottom. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, it's... Uh... Ah, oh, number of deaths. Later. I've died 35 times, but I've killed three of you. Are you kidding me? I've died 36 times. I feel like country's gonna try to hunt me down in the last, like, 10 I've minutes. I've killed four. Four people. The 
four oh. people you've killed, let's be honest, were probably all icy. More than likely, yeah. Uh... I've had over over 500 interactions with a crafting table and over 300 with a furnace. I feel I've like... jumped na hey, here's one. I've jumped 9275 times. Which is How about you, Solemn, you jumper you? <laughs> well, literally everybody except for you does the jump run. So you jumping 9000 times means everybody else should have jumped probably about four times that. Uh, Number of deaths, nine. eight. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. How many? What, kills, what's it called? Zero. Number of jumps, was it? What was it called? Oh, jumps. Uh, Just says jumps. 46,896. 72,405. Well, I wasn't going to jump for the rest of the episode because I was self-conscious, but now I'm not so self-conscious, so thank you. I can jump again. 72,000 times. I've killed time over since Time 4, since last miles. death. Time since last death. 8.13 hours. Mine was 0. 0.7 mm. hours. 27 minutes. <laughs> time, since la time since last rest. 23.68 minutes. 13 minutes. You've, I've only you've, slept uh, in a bed 36 times. You've showed media how to look at uh, statistics and, you know, we're going to have an issue now. Oh, some other mods that we should definitely put on uh, the, the new map are micro blocks for one. And um, the thing where when you kill any mob, you have a chance to drop um, a, one of their heads, basically. Okay. Because a lot of people are using that one and it can make for some hilarious results. For one thing, at least then when we kill each other, we get a mask. So that I can frame like, you. Like like the spy from Team Fortress 2. No, he just like staples a piece of paper to his face. Like Deadpool in Deadpool. <laughs> oh, yeah. I lock diamonds. <laughs> Anyways, um, I really have nothing else to show anybody. None of you guys slept while I was in the in the end, so there's zombies in the village. Okay, I have nothing on me, and I see a big, big hole. So let's aim for death number nine. Here. Where, wait, where are you? I can watch you. One second. Um, wait, did you I leave the village? At, yeah, I'm at uh, 691.52.827. Okay, you're like 400 blocks away from me. It's not worth my time. Just jump in your hole. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. Ew. Oh, no, didn't die. <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed watching Boneheads SMP Season 2. Um, make sure you leave those comments with anything that you want to see in the next season or anything anything you want us to discuss because this is just I kind of I found a glow squid. You cheated. Ah! <laughs> no, he's going to kill me. <laughs> I found the glow squid. <laughs> How do I take a picture? <laughs> yeah, you had. Yes. I was gonna say you had a uh, a totem of undying. I was screwed, anyways. But, anyways, we will see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye.